Hello everyone. We will continue that topic. How to send a ALV output as an email attachment. So firstly, we understood the requirement. We created the program for ALV grid output based upon our requirement. Then we understood the concept of these four classes which are required to send the mail. Then after that, we started with the various steps. And as a part of that, in the previous video, we have done with the first step, we prepared a text format for our ALV data. What do you mean by text format? Text format means we are concatenating all that data into one single column. Yes, separator will be there because otherwise how we will distinguish that data of individual column. We filled a internal table having single column. That single column length I took as 100 because I have only three column data. In real projects, if you have so many column, you need to take a column of bigger length. Now we will move on to the next step. What is our next step? Now we need to convert that text format to binary format. During our smartphone PDF as an email attachment, during our Adobe form as an email attachment, we see we have we converted the data to binary format. Here also, we will simply, simply convert that data to binary format. We'll convert the text format data to binary format. And the best part is SAP provided the function module. We will use that function module to convert the text format data to binary format. So what is the name of the function module? The name of the function module is scms underscore text underscore to underscore binary. So we will use this function module. Now this is our second step. This whole logic must be the part of this if condition. So this is our first step. We prepared a text format for our data. Now we will go for second step will convert that text format to binary format. I will go for pattern and I will use this function module. SCMS text to binary. I will simply, simply go for this. What is our data? In which particular internal table we have that data in text format? This is LT underscore data. Do not go for LTVBAK. LTVBAK is not of all, out of all of the data in text format. Yes. Now we will convert it to binary format. So I will give some name to the internal table. Suppose I am saying LT underscore binary data. Now, what will be the type of this LT binary data? It will be same as that of binary underscore tab. Now, as a part of best practices, I will firstly uncomment the exception. The type of LT binary data will be same as that of binary underscore tab. So I will check the type of this binary underscore tab. If I will double click on to this function module, I will go to tables tab where binary underscore tab is there. I will go to table tab. Now you will be able to see SAP has not given any type to binary underscore tab. As of now, I will provide some type. Whenever topic will proceed, I will let you know why, why I provided this particular type. So as of now, I will give a table type. And whenever topic will proceed, I will again come here and tell you why, why I took this particular table type. So I will declare LT underscore binary type tab binary underscore tab. Now I'm going for a table type. 
solix underscore tan. I will check the name. Yes, anyways, it will come in the future. If I will double click on to this, it is a table type which has a structure type and you can see it has a column line and it is all about binary data. So I declare this internal table of type solix underscore tab and it is a table type. LT underscore binary data. Okay, I think I gave the different name. Okay, binary data. So we have done with the second step. Whatever the data we have in text format, we simply, simply convert it to binary format using this particular function. Now we will go for next step and now the real part will start because now the game of these four classes will start and specifically the game of these two important classes will start. Now what is our next step? Firstly, we need to create a send request. Just simply compare. Whenever you are creating a mail, you are clicking on to compose button. That's a email sending process start. Same thing is here. We need to create the send request first. And you all know whenever we want to create a send request, which particular class will be used? CL underscore BCS. I will go to this particular class. Now, you all know SC24 is the transaction code for global classes. That's why I told you the basic knowledge of a PAP Oops concepts is required, especially in this particular topic. So this is our global class CL underscore BCS. If I will display this class, now you can see the properties also. It's a business communication service class. Yes, most, most important class. If I will go for methods, we have so many methods here. Now we need to use a method to create a send request. Now to create a send request, we will use this particular method, create underscore persistent. And you can see, it is a static method, static. Whenever you have a static method, we will not call this method through object. We will directly call the method with the help of class itself. That's why I told you basic knowledge is required. What is static method? What is instance method? All these concepts are available into a BAP Oops playlist. So firstly, we will call this method and we will call this method directly through the class itself. Now I will go for our code. And now we have the third step. I will go for the pattern. I will go for a map object patterns. Now we do not have an object. We directly have the class. I will write CL underscore BCS. I will go to F for help. It will show me all the methods. And we need to use which method? Create underscore persistent. It is clearly saying create persistent send request. I will go for OK. And you can see whenever we have equal to and this greater than icon, it means it is a static method. I will simply uncomment this try block. I will uncomment this catch block and we will get a result. What will be the type of this? Suppose in front of this, I need to write something. Now we will see what is the type of the result. Most, most important part will come. How I will check. I will simply double click on the math. Create underscore persistent. You can see result, result is type ref to this particular class itself. You all know whenever you have type ref to, it means it is a object itself. It means 
whenever we are calling this particular method it is returning as the object of this particular class so i will simply write hello underscore i will say suppose bcs local object hello stands for local object now i will declare this hello underscore bcs type ref to this particular class cl underscore bcs so whenever we are calling this method it is ultimately returning the object of this particular class it is type ref to type ref to this result and lo underscore bcs are of same type so what is the summary of this particular video in this video, we covered the second and third step of email sending process. What is our next second step we did? We converted the text format to binary format. SAP provided the function module. We simply use that function module. Now in front of a binary tab, we provided the internal table. But when we check that function module, there is nothing given that type. The type has not defined. So as of now, I provided solix underscore tab. And I told you when the topic will proceed, you will get the guarantee, 100% clarity why I put solix underscore tab at that point of time. After that, I covered the next step. We need to create the send request process. It is just like a compose button. Now, we simply went to SC24, we check this class, and we have a static method there, create underscore persistent. If method is static, we can directly call through class, object is not required. So, we call through the class itself, yes. Now, whenever we call this method, it is returning in the result, it is returning the object of the same class cl underscore bcs so we are getting the object of cl underscore bcs class and this object will play a vital role whenever we will proceed now in the next video we will move on to the further steps of email sending process so that's it in this video thank you